What up, people? Welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! So, today's deck, I want to do something a little bit different, and... I mean, it's not too much different, really. Just a different deck. So, been seeing it around a lot, and I thought I'd give it a try. I did look online, tried to find a deck profile, but I couldn't find one I really liked. So, I just threw a bunch of cards together. Hopefully it'll work. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I don't know. But it's Odd Eyes Performal. Um, like I said, I've never, I haven't even play tested the deck. I just wanted to throw it together and see how it would work. It looks like it could be good. It is a uh, pendulum deck, and usually pendulum decks work pretty well. So, but let's get into the profile. So we have an Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Uh, level 7, 2500 attack, uh, Pendulum Skull 4. Um, a Pendulum effect, you can reduce the battle damage you take from battle involving a Pendulum monster you control to zero. During the end phase, you can destroy this card, and if you do, add one Pendulum monster with 1500 attack or less from your deck to your hand. Uh, you can only activate once per turn. So that's a pretty good Pendulum effect. And then a monster effect, if this card battles an opponent's monster, any battle damage this card inflicts to your opponent is doubled. So it can be a big hitter, either as a pendulum monster or as a monster on the field. Then we have Odd Eyes Dragon. That's cool. <laughs> if this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, inflict damage to your opponent equal to half the original attack of the monster in the graveyard. So, he's awesome too. Both level 7s, both 2500 attack, one's a pendulum, one's not. Then we got Perform, Perform Pal Mama Splash. It's a 1900, 2300, level 6, pendulum 4. Uh, the pendulum effect once per turn when a fusion monster is special summoned to your side of the field uh, you can special summon one odd eyes pendulum monster from your extra deck <clears throat> and the monster effect during your main phase you can fusion summon one dragon fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters you can tr control as fusion materials you can only use the effect once per duel not per turn per duel so I think that means I can do it without a poly which is awesome then we have monkey board the name is awesome it's a level 6 a thousand attack 2400 defense it's a pendulum skill of one unless you have a perform L card in the other pendulum zone this cards pendulum scale becomes four okay during your main phase, if this card was activated this turn, you can add one level 4 or lower perform all monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use the effect once per turn. It's not too bad. Then the monster effect. You can discard this card, reveal one perform all or odd eyes monster in your hand, and if you do, reduce the level of that monster and all monsters in your hand with the same name as that monster by one until the end of this turn even after they are summoned so that's a good way of getting monsters smaller than what they actually are then we got a uh, kaleidoscorp kaleidoscorp that's a cool name i like that <laughs> uh, the pendulum effect light monsters you control gain 300 attack that's pretty awesome I don't see any other light monsters. Wait a minute. Is that card even worth? Once per turn during your main phase one, you target one monster you control. Uh, it can attack all special summon monsters you, your opponent controls once each during each battle phase this turn. So, as a monster effect, it's really good. As a pendulum effect, eh. Then we got. Drumarilla. <laughs> the artwork is awesome. 
Uh, it's level 5, 1600 attack, 900 defense, skill 2, once per turn, where an attack is declared involving a monster you control and an opponent's monster, you can target that monster you control and gain 600 attack until the end of the battle phase. Not too bad. If there are no monsters on the field, you can normal summon this card without tributing. If this card is normal summoned without tributing, its level becomes 4, once per turn, when an attack is declared involving a monster you control and an opponent's monster, you can target that monster you control, it gains 600 attack until the end of the battle phase. So that's not bad. I mean, this would be like a 2200 attack if you've done it. Eh, it's not horrible, but for a level 5, that's not great either. Then we got uh, Part... Part Naga. Okay. Uh, level 5, 500 attack, 21 defense, uh, pendulum scale of 3. The pendulum effect is once per turn, you target one face up monster you control. It gains 300 attack for each performal card you currently control until the end of the turn. So that's not too bad. The monster effect is if this card is normal or special summoned, you can target one monster you control. It gains 300 attack for each performal monster you currently control. The level 5 or lower monsters cannot attack. Okay. So if I can get an odd eyes out there. Oops. Just any odd eyes. It doesn't matter. Or just any big monster out there. And then special summon that. And have a bunch of other performal monsters out there. Just boost up the attack and destroy something. Then we have Silver Claw. <clears throat> it's a level 4, 1800 attack. Uh, pendulum skill of 5. All performer monsters you control gain 300 attack, so that's really nice. Um, if this card declares an attack, all performer monsters you currently control gain 300 attack until the end of the battle phase. So it's not horrible. Um, it's mainly just a filler to get out there. Then we have Performer Skull Crobat Joker. This guy looks awesome. It's a level 4, 1800, 100, and it's a skill of 8. So he'll be really good for the upper skill. Um, the pendulum effect you cannot pendulum summon monsters except for former monsters, magician, pendulum monsters, and odd eye monsters. This effect cannot be negated. So that's fine by me because I run pretty much nothing but perform out. I mean, this is even a spellcaster oh magician so I can't summon him which sort of sucks but that's fine uh, the monster effect when this card is normal summoned you can add one performer monster one magician pendulum monster or one odd eyes monster from your deck to your hand except perform else except for itself so I really like this guy. He's really good. I should probably put him up to three, actually. But I'm sort of out of room in the deck, so it depends on. I might do some changes. I'm not sure. Then we have Performer Whip Snake. Level four, seventeen hundred, nine hundred attack. Once per turn during either player's main phase, you can target one face-up monster on the field. Switch its current attack and defense until the end of the turn. So that'd be huge for some of these guys, like that guy with 2100. Or, let's see, is there any other ones? Like this one, 2300 defense, 2400 defense, another 2300 defense. So this guy could be very helpful. Then we have two maxis, just draw power. Uh, then two effect mailers. I did. I wasn't sure if I needed a uh, synchro and I did a tuner. And effect veiler is good for tuner and just negating effects. So I thought I'd just go ahead and throw two of those in there. Um, then we got one regeki to clear the board. Uh, these might not be needed. Like I said, I'm very new to odd eyes and perform age and all that. So um, I just threw them in there for now. If I don't need them, they'll come out for something different. Then I put two upstart goblins for the draw power. Two MSTs to clear the back row. 
one Book of Moon, one Bottomless, one Mirror Force, one Torrential. Help me clear the board. And then we got one Vanity's Emptiness. I'm still not super sold on this card. It's a good card. I do I do understand that. It is a really good card. But to me, I'm still not sold on it at all. I mean, it's a good way to say if your opponent's getting ready to summon something big, activate that. They can't special summon. Then they're just like, uh, what can I do? And then they're usually screwed. So it's a really good way to just screw your opponent. So I'm going to leave it for now. It might come out depending on how the deck plays. Because this deck special summons like crazy, so I don't know. Then we have two Fetish Chains. Always good. Uh, one Call and one Solemn Morning. And that is it for the deck so far. The main deck at least. Uh, there's a few in here I might pull out like... Uh, the pendulum kaleidoscopes they might come out I don't know as a pendulum monster they don't have too much of an effect for this deck really so I'm not sure they, they might come out I might replace one with one of those and maybe throw in another one of those I don't know yet um like I said, this deck's completely a work in progress. I'm just wanting to test it out and see how it works. Uh, let's go to the extra deck now. We have two Odd Eyes Vortex Dragons. It takes one Odd, one odd Eyes Monster and one Pendulum Monster. So we have those, definitely. Uh, when this card is Special Summoned, you can target one face-up attack position monster your opponent controls. Return it to the hand. During either player's turn, when another monster effect or a spell trap card is activated, you can shuffle one face up pendulum monster in your extra deck into your deck. And if you do, negate the act activation. Or wait a minute. And if you do, negate the activation. And if you do that, destroy it. You can only use the effect. Use each effect of Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon once per turn. So it lets you bounce stuff destroy stuff and negate stuff then I put one Trishula in there uh, there's probably better cards Trishula is a really nice card and there's plenty of ways to get it out I mean it's a level 9 so one Veller and two level 4's no problem uh, then we got Stardust just like I said it's another filler if there's better cards I'll eventually find them and throw them in here then there is why are those separated? Two odd eyes meteor burst dragons. One tuner plus one or more non-tuner monsters, which there should be enough. I mean, it's a seven, so one. There's three, so it just take uh, like a Valor, a Maxi, and that, or or a Valor and a level six. Not too bad. When this card is special summoned, you can target one card in your pendulum zone, special summon it. But this card cannot attack for the rest of this turn. You can only use the effect of Odd Eyes and make a Meteor Burst Dragon once per turn. Your opponent cannot activate monster effects during the battle phase. So he's really nice negating monster effects during battle phase. I like that. Then we got a Black Rose. Uh, if all else fails, blow the field up. That's what Black Rose is for. Then we have Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon. This is a huge monster. It's a pendulum monster. I don't even know how this works. Okay, so it's a uh, level 7, 3000 attack, 2500 defense, pendulum skill 4. The pendulum effect, once per turn, if you have no card in your other pendulum zone you can place one pendulum monster from your deck or pendulum in your pendulum zone okay then the monster effect two level seven dragon type monsters which we have if you can pendulum summon level seven you can pendulum summon this face up card in your extra deck 
If this card is XE seven by using the XE materials as ma whoa, whoa, whoa. okay, if this card is XE seven by using an XE monster as a material, destroy as many level seven or lower monsters your opponent controls as possible. Wow. Uh, inflict inflict a thousand damage to your opponent for each card destroyed, and if you do, this card can make three attacks during each battle phase this turn. If this card in the monster zone is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can destroy as many cards in your pendulum zone zones as possible. And if you do, place this card in your pendulum zone. So that's how it gets to the pendulum zone. Oops. And it's it's a beast of a card, I'll put it that way. Um Yeah. So if I can get these two out, then overlay with the whole oh wow, that'd be huge. So this guy is awesome. I want him out, but I think I would rather do it this way. So we got Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon, two level sevens. Uh, when any player's monster declares an attack, you can detach one material from this card, and negate the attack, then special summon one Odd Eyes monster from your hand or graveyard. If this XE summon card is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one Odd Eyes monster from your extra deck, except Absolute Dragon. You can only use the effect of Absolute Dragon once per turn. So I can see a huge play here. Okay, this guy, you can use these. You, it says you can use, if you use Pendulum Summon, or no, no, let me see. If this card is XE Summon using XE Monsters as material. So I'm thinking I can use these two to XE Summon that. So you get this out, you attack, you negate it, get the monster back, right? Pendulum Summon another 7, get this guy out. You have them both on the field, then you XE Summon that. Then you can destroy all their stuff. That sounds like huge play and something I really really want to do so then we have Proton Strike Bounza 2 level 6 which we have uh, once per turn during either player's turn when a monster or monster's effect is activated on your opponent's side of the field you can detach one material from this card and negate the effect and if you do it flip a thousand points of damage so he's good then Gauntlet Shooter uh, just detach a card and destroy it uh, opponent's monster. Then we have Dark Rebellion, which is still good, and we have level fours. And I went ahead and put one 101 in there, just for that thing I can't get around if there is a, such a thing with this deck, which I highly, highly doubt. So that is my Odd Eyes Perform All deck. Um, it probably needs work. It really, probably needs work, but I'm not that stressed about it. I think it can stand on its own. But we'll find out here in a little bit. So I will call it an episode here on the profile. If you like what you saw, leave a like. If you want to see more like this, hit that sub button. Uh, any questions, comments, tips, suggestions, leave them down there in the comment box and I'll get back with you. But thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.